So today's conversation is going to be around how to get some money to make some home improvements on your house. Maybe you bought a place and it's dated and you want to bring it up to the, uh, you know, 2020s. <laughs> that sounds so weird. <laughs> So you have some options out there to get some improvements done on your home. What are they? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Stacey Hesser here, your favorite realtor in all of Southern Oklahoma. So today's conversation is going to be around how to get some money to make some home improvements on your house. Well, the first way that you can do it, and probably the most obvious way, especially with everything that's been going on in the last couple of years, is to draw out the equity on your house. That is absolutely um, the easiest thing to do, especially with home values improving so much over the last couple of years due to the hot seller's market that we've been in. So those home values have definitely elevated to a point that you probably have some equity in your house that you could draw out and reinvest in your home. Another option for you would be just a regular uh, home remodel loan. It, again, it's just a traditional type loan, and it would be based on you doing the remodeling work on the house. Uh, again, you should get some contractors involved so you know what those costs are going to be and have a good understanding of how much of a loan that you're going to need in order to uh, make those improvements on your home. But it's, again, just another type of loan that would require you needing to go to the bank with some kind of a plan and let them know that you're obviously wanting to do some kind of home remodeling. So just wanted to add in something here. My girl, April, she is over at First Bank and Trust. April is always wanting to help those that want to do some kind of home improvements. She's right here in Ardmore. She understands the value of our market here. And she really loves helping people make improvements on homes that are here. So give her a call. All of her information is going to be in the contact information below, down in the description. I may even flash her name up here on the big screen. But April Welch with First Bank and Trust, again, she is a huge asset to me. She really helps me out. She helps my clients out. And I just love her. Give her a call today. Another way that you could do home improvements is obviously just save up the cash. Get some quotes from contractors for whatever it is that you're wanting to do and start saving up however much money that is going to be required of you to actually make those improvements. So that's that's a pretty obvious, easy way, but you still need to have that goal in mind and a good understanding of what the expense is going to be for whatever improvement is that you're going to be facing. Um, you might also check into some DIY stuff. You may always surprise yourself on how easy some of these projects may actually be. YouTube is a great tool. <laughs> Thank you for being here. YouTube it. I mean, maybe it's something that you can tackle yourself. Maybe, uh, Maybe not though. I don't know. I've I've definitely known a few couples that have gone into arguments <laughs> over getting projects done. So anyway, just know that that's a viable option for you too. The last one is is a little iffy. It just kind of depends on you and your comfort level and how and how well you kind of manage your money. But uh, the last option would be to do uh, credit cards. So it's usually a higher interest rate unless you get some kind of a special. Uh, rate through your credit card company. There are times that credit card companies will offer zero uh, interest rates, 0% interest rates. So it might be another option for you, but just use them responsibly. Um, it is obviously an open-ended line of credit for you, and it can end up biting you in the butt if you don't pay it off in time and you end up paying some kind of astronomical interest rate. Just know that you've got some other options out there. I mean, if you're if you've got projects on your to-do list that you really want to get done and that will add value to your house or bring you more enjoyment to your house, man, by all means do it. I, I can't emphasize that enough. I myself have put off projects and once they were finally done, I really regretted not doing them sooner. And I just underestimated the amount of enjoyment that I was going to get out of some of the improvements that I've made, even if it's just changing out the color of a bathroom. I mean, it just, I don't know, it brought my heart a little bit of joy. Okay. And we can all use some joy at any point in our lives, right? So that's what I've got for you today. Ways that you can do some home improvements, um, ways that you can get some money to get those projects done. So I hope you enjoyed this video, but 
If you liked it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you love this video and want to see this happy, smiling little face every single week, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. But until the next time, guys, bye. Oh, and stay tuned for another video. Thanks. Ha, ha, ha.